Now, at first, I thought Wizard was just some cringe, projectile spamming loser. And some people online really make it feel like that. But that's because people play Wizard wrong. While Wizard might seem like that, he has one move that changes everything. Missile form. And I swear to God, if you thought I was going to say Magic Tart, I can personally assure you that I will be in your walls tonight. Missile form is insanely good for combos. And when combined with the free combo rerouting tool in Mana Strike, you get the kind of shit combo engineers stain their bedsheets to. Even ignoring combos, it's just a better, faster super jump that can be done in any direction and in the air and can be free cancelled into itself. Now after that, I know the training mode touch of death autists are about to bust and not hearing this, but Kegel that shit, it gets better. Spark bombs are one of the strongest zone control tools in the entire game, slowly moving to the opponent and suffocating their options. If you're a pussy, real men detonate it on themselves, sending them flying and supercharging all of their movement. You thought missile form was cool before, but what if it was twice as fast and combo from literally anything. Someone could probably stub their toe in real life and you could combo those grippers. I have to thank the comments that told me spark jump is a thing and that wizard isn't cringe because my dopaminergic system will never recover from the rush of landing a spark boosted attack and I wouldn't have it any other way. But uh... As much as I want to keep gushing over this shit, there is some other stuff to talk about. Telekinesis allows you to just dredge up some random shit before gently restructuring your opponent's skull with it. And the reason this is so good is the startup animation happens, and then you just have the rock slash tire slash suspicious poo cube, and can throw it instantly, giving you some insane pressure. But even if your opponent hits you, you just slap them with a brick and stop them from comboing you. I promise this did actually interrupt the combo. I was just, I was just getting sourced. I got my ass beat. The worst part is afterwards they commented on one of my videos like, oh, haha, aren't you the guy I absolutely destroyed online? Yes, I cried. Oh, and the orb. Now, at first, I thought this was just a wacky little guy that you brought out to ponder and occasionally slap people with. And then this absolute chad comboed me to death with it. And after that, I just ascended. My mind had ascended to a plane of socially distant smackdowns and insane combo pressure. A land where I am not one being, but two. Where I have a constant companion. Where I, oh shit, let me get out of this combo. No! <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> Wizard has some other moves, including uh, the, the piss beam. <laughs> The piss beam, the ball tickles, and the aerial ball tickles, the wacky air movement, and of course, magic dark. But the wizard has some weaknesses too. Besides inciting tragedy, rest in peace, Orby, you, you will be deeply missed. First off, it's basically impossible to win a game with wizard. Not because they're bad, but for some reason, I had more people rage quit than I did people I actually managed to beat. Second, the wizard is insanely setup reliant. Even ignoring the fact that to do anything cool you need prep time, all of your defensive options also need it. Ninja can just shimmy or substitute, cowboy can spot dodge or teleport, and robot, honestly landing a hit on robot without it aggressively widening your radial cavity is a miracle in itself. But the wizard's only defensive options are to throw pebbles at you or... <laughs> You know. I'm sorry, Orby, I'm sorry! Which means you arguably have the best defensive options in the game while prepared. But who needs defensive options while you're prepared? You need them when the enemy catches you with your pants down. And uh, if the enemy catches you with your pants down as a wizard, the, the best thing you could do is just loosen your cheeks up and hope it doesn't hurt too much. Oh, and uh, before I forget, watch your turn!